It's Friday, it's fish and chips, it's a British tradition, but could it be under threat from falling haddock numbers? The Marine Conservation Society have downgraded haddock in these areas, west of Scotland and the North Sea, on their sustainable list. They say action is needed to increase stocks and that consumers should think more laterally. We're not um, asking people to stop buying haddock, but we are generally wanting people to, to know the fish that they're buying, get to know your fish. Um, we'd encourage people to ask questions of their fishmonger, look at labels on pack, um, look at how and where your fish is caught. They point to other options like place and hake, but are our tastes ready to change and do we care enough to make the effort? Do you worry where your food's coming from and, and what quotas are and what stocks are and sustainability? I should do, but I don't. It's obviously something to bear in mind, isn't it? Whether you're buying fish at the supermarket or whether you're consuming it in a place like this. Because it can't go on forever. But once it's available in reasonable supply, I'll carry on enjoying having Where better to test the waters than at Papa's Fish and Chips, just voted best in the country. Their haddock is from further afield where stocks are more plentiful and they want the fish loving public to be reassured. It's all 100% sustainable and it's all coming from the Barents Sea and I think the important message that we get across is there is plenty more fish in the sea, it just depends where you're fishing. A thousand tonnes of white fish a week comes via those more northern routes into Grimsby where headlines about fish and chips being off the menu haven't gone down well. From the consumer's point of view today they might not know what to think. Yeah I, I, I don't disagree with that but uh, we need to counter some of those messages that have come out this morning in the newspapers and we need to give the consumer a lot of confidence that fish is available, particularly haddock, it's popular in fish and chip shops and long may it continue. The Marine Conservation Society clarified its advice this evening, saying a temporary quota reduction will protect a dip in numbers and that no one should be rewriting their menus. Peter Lane, 5 News.